Hey everybody, welcome. This is AceBuster001 and welcome to my video on how to set up voice chat when playing your games. Uh, this can be done either through your LAN or online, whichever you're doing. So what we've done here is we play most of our games through Steam, as you see it on the screen here. So um, one thing I do want to point out, if you look up here in the corner, you'll see we currently have family mode set up on our account. Now in order to set up this chat you have to go into the Steam settings which is up here on the left. Now the problem is if you sign into your family view these settings here will disappear and you will not find them. So if you're looking for your settings you don't see it in this list make sure you have logged out of your family view. So that's step one. So next step is we're going to set up the game to actually use voice chat. And um, I guess for this example here, we're going to use Minecraft. Now, the other thing is if you have a game that is not showing in this list under Steam and it's not a true Steam game, there's no worries because you can add it manually, which is really, really easy. So if you go down to the bottom left here, you see it says add a game. We're going to click on that. We're going to click add a non-Steam game. It's going to search your PC and look for whatever it has. So let's just pick yeah, Battlefield Hardline. So I'm going to highlight it there. I'm going to say add selected programs. And here we go. So now it's listed in Steam and I can actually play it from within Steam even though it's not a Steam game. So step one, as I say, make sure family is off, make sure the game that you are wanting to play and use voice chat is listed in your list of games here, otherwise you can add it manually. So let's see, uh, let's, we'll do Minecraft as an example. So we're going to highlight it, we're going to play wait for it to launch and you see this message here shift tab for the community overlay that is what we're going to use to set up chat so let's say for now I am gonna play let it load up okay so now we're in the game and let me change something here quick put full screen, there we go okay, so I'm out of full screen so the game is loaded now the person who sets up the multiplayer game they are the one that's going to have to initiate the voice chat. It cannot be done the other way around. So the person who sets up the multiplayer game has to initiate the chat. So what we're going to do is you would let's set up uh, create a new game and we're just going to go creative create new world and we'll wait for it to load up All right. So now once you're in the game, we're now ready to set up the chat. So I'm going to do the shift tab key, which is our Steam overlay. All right. So now you have the window that allows you to do several things as if you were back into Steam again. On the side here, it should give you a list of any friends that are online. And currently they are offline right now. But that's no big deal, we can still get it done. So what we're going to do is we'll double click on a friend. It'll bring up another window over here. And if you click on this drop down arrow on the right hand side here, it says start voice chat. Now this is obviously not highlighted because that person is offline. So if the person was online, you could start a voice chat. What it does is it rings the other player, they will hear it like a telephone ringing and they will accept the voice chat but now again I say because I initiated this game 
you have to be the one that initiates the start voice chat so it cannot be the other way around otherwise it will not work so once you've set that up you can click up here return back to the game and your voice chat should be working um, I'm gonna go save and quit here obviously I clicked on the single player the first time but obviously you want to do a multiplayer so that was if you were going to hook up to someone else's game obviously so just a quick refresher from the start make sure your family mode is off you're not in family mode and the reason for that is you want to be able to see your settings okay on the left here you see your voice okay make sure obviously that your device that you're using to record voice is actually in the block there otherwise you would have to go change device uh, you could do an auto detect if you want to I guess it might work never tried it so then you want to make sure your volumes are up you can do a test microphone over here so as long as this is all working and you've got those bars working when you do a test microphone your voice should be good so once the setting is done you're gonna either select a game from your list or you'll add a game manually once the game is in the list you can click on play to take you to the game and like I say we're using Minecraft so if I was the one that was going to be initiating the play I would select single player I would open up a game I would open that game to LAN and then use the shift tab key to bring up the overlay for Steam I would click on a friend whoever was here oh, let's not go that one alright so then I would find the friend that I'm looking for in that list I would double click on them click on the drop down arrow on the right hand side and I would click on start voice chat that would ring the other player and that player could answer and you'd be on your way chatting during the game so hopefully that will explain a lot of things since uh, we had a bit of trouble setting this up in the beginning and uh, looking online was kind of hard to find some stuff explaining it exactly like this so uh, everyone thanks for watching hope this helps out a whole lot if you enjoyed the video please subscribe to us we're kind of new to this game and we're doing our best but we appreciate you watching thanks guys till next time